Finally, at question five, you've got a really easy question, a lovely little one that you were expecting that you know you've got to put in f of minus three, not three, stick in the minus three into all of this. Minus three, three lots of minus three squared, four lots of minus three minus 12. Do work it all out though. So we've got minus 27, add 27, plus 12, minus 12, and it equals zero. Because it equals zero, x plus three is a factor. The words are needed there for that part. Now, fully factorise it. So we've got that it's x plus 3, and you can do a long divide, or you can, um, loads of different ways of doing this, to then get that, we've got to have an x squared there, we're going to have a minus 4 on the end, and actually that's all we need. Fully factorise means that this thing here can be factorised as well, x plus 2 and x minus 2. Once again, that's something that you could have checked on your calculator. So in my calculator here, in my quadratics ones there, polynomial, this time of degree 3, and the polynomial we had was 1x cubed, 3x squared, a minus 4 here, and a minus 12 here. And the answers we're getting are 2, that's from that one there, minus 2, that's from that one there, and minus 3, that's from that one there. So we've checked it as well. Um, so the last part, we've already done all of this, so that's that thing we've just done. We're going to have to factorise the bottom bit as well. Um, some people didn't spot this in the mock. Look, there's an x in all of these. So just take the factor of x out first of all, and that leaves you with x squared plus 5x plus 6. If that's really stressing you, use your calculator, but it is x plus 2 and x plus 3. That means loads of things cancel. The x plus 3 on the top with the x plus 3 on the bottom. The x plus 2 on the top with the x plus 2 on the bottom. Leaving us with x take away 2 over x. We're not all done. We're not all done because it said leaving it in this format. And so let's break the top of this up. We've got x over x minus 2 over x. And of course x over x is 1. Remember, you can split up numerators. You wouldn't have been able to split up a denominator in the same way, um, but we've got 1 minus 2 over x. Some people were worried that there was a plus there, but what you're doing is you're adding a minus 2. 